Hey guys, Mike Shanklin from the Peace, Freedom, Prosperity Movement, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about you. And you'll see where I'm going with this here in a second. But you're an individual. You're unique. You're one of a kind. And that's a good thing. I'm not trying to get all soft and emotional here on you. <laughs> but even when you're in a group, you're still an individual. It's not as if your brain pops out of your head, transcends and transforms into this conglomerate with other individual brains, and it forms one great brain of perfectly computed, you know, perfect information. That's not how it works. <laughs> it's not like you can put on a Captain Planet ring and, 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 and four, five people come together and you can create this new being. It's not like you can plug uh, a cord into your head like you can in the Matrix and you're all of a sudden part of this computer system that has collective information. That's not at all how it works. <laughs> Quite the opposite of that, in fact. But you hear a lot of people talk about things like you're an American or insert whatever stages regional boundary you happen to be located at at the time but they try and pass it off uh, the, the fact that you're making a social contract from living in this region and that in this social contract you're automatically a part of the government that you are automatically a part of this government this because you see to a statist government is society to freedom lovers and individualists <laughs> We obviously understand that government is anti-civilization, that it's actually anti-society. And along that path, it's important for you to realize you're not part of the government. You are not the government. Unless you go out there and, and support these leaders and various people out here who are doing this stuff, you're not a part of government. You are not the government. And it's important for us to think of this in collective terms. People like to say the word we, you know. We do this, we do that. Well, I'll tell you right now. We, you and I, and all these other people, we are not bombing innocent women and children in Afghanistan. You know why we aren't? Because I'm not. I'm not in bed with big bankers. I'm not oligopolizing industry. I'm not arresting people for victimless crimes. <laughs> and if you're not supporting this, then neither are you. We're not part of the government. Sure, they can steal our money from us, and they can pay for these expensive wars. They can pay for all this statism, whatever program and operation they want. They can steal our money and pay for it with our own cash. But that doesn't mean you support it. That doesn't mean we support it. And it's important for us to realize, how do these rulers keep their power in the first place? There's one tool that every ruler out there uses. Nationalism. Patriotism. They try and brainwash you into thinking that the, this one region and its inhabitants are somehow more equal than others. That because you're part of this region, that you owe service to it. That you must comply. Because that's what society is. At least in the minds of the statists. But it's important to realize things like the national debt it's not your responsibility. Besides, there's no way we can pay back thirteen and a half trillion dollars. That's over ninety five percent of our gross domestic product every year, at least if you're an American. <laughs> Once again in collectivist terms. But the point here is it's not your responsibility. You we're saving up for your retirement or for your kids' college while they were selling your kids into debt slavery. And they've been selling you off for a very long time. There's no way to pay back this national debt or any of these debts. They're not even yours anyway. They're not your responsibility. Other tyrants, a few other individuals, were the ones who put themselves in this position knowing but because of sovereign immunity, they would never have to accept responsibility or accountability for their actions. But instead, your family would pay for it. But it's not you doing it. You are not the national debt. You are not a nation. You are not a state. <laughs> to be proud of a nationality is basically like giving yourself on the slave block to that region's ruler. 
There's no good that can come out of that. And as long as you are trapped inside of the system, there's no way you can break out and start to truly hack at the root of the real problem, which is the entire system itself. All of it. If you're a part of statism, you perpetuate it by making people think that they actually need the system in the first place. You're an individual. What generations did past, and what generations are doing present, is not we at all. Walk away from it.